Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and in this video we're going to look particularly for those of the maths teachers or the science teachers or any teacher where you need some sort of complicated formula or, or, or quadratic equation or something that you need to display in a worksheet. This can also work in a PowerPoint or Excel. You can use this in other packages in the Microsoft. But how do we do a nice fancy formula like this? How do I do something like that? So I've drawn up, I've got a picture here of what I want. I want to, a formula that looks like that, that we could edit later on if we needed to. So to do this, I'm going to come here to insert. And when I click on insert, it's going to give me options over here. So you'll see here is an equation option. Now sometimes you'll see the symbol option. And if you click the arrow below it, it'll give you the option for the equation or the symbol. So always double check symbol or equation if you can't see the word equation. So I'm going to click on equation. So when I click over here, you'll see a whole bunch of options will appear for me. And they've got some built-in options, which are lovely, which we can edit in that. Or we can insert a brand new equation. So if I do that... You'll see now, yeah, is where we can type our equation. And now we've got in the ribbon over here, we've got all these lovely little options where we can make fractions and stuff like that. So you can see how we can set up. So if I select that particular option, you see I've got a top and a bottom. I can select that. And then I can type in the top. I can type in front of it. I can type like X equals. And then when I click over there, now I'm in the top of the fraction. There's a fine line between this numerator and this denominator there. So I can say negative B, and then I can add there are lots of different options. There's the plus minus symbol. I want to put the plus minus symbol in. So you've got all these lovely little options over here. Um, you can convert to different type of options over here. So you can go through, obviously, depending on your expertise in a particular mathematical scientific field, you'll know exactly how it must look if you want integrals or something like that. So you've got lots of little things, even matrices you've got a bit of here. So lovely little options that you can do. Another thing that you can do, which is quite nifty, is you can actually, when you come over here to insert, you can actually, when you insert a formula, you can actually ink equation. Now this is quite cool. So you can actually draw or write out your equation. So when I say ink equation, a little box will pop up like this. And you can actually physically write your equation. So if I want this equation, I'm actually going to write it manually. Now my, excuse my handwriting, my handwriting is not that great. It's going to try to predict what you want to type. That equals, I can draw a line there and say negative and you can see it's trying to predict everything that I type and okay so now we get to something like this now you can see it's it's getting there it's getting there so let's type in a bit more here b squared there we go let now if I say minus four a c now it's going to try so there we go so there we can it's trying to correct my handwriting now obviously that's a problem so it there's the little issue that it's got. It doesn't know what that log is. So what you can do is you can actually select that little bit there. I'm going to select this part. It's not recognizing this part very well. So that part, yeah, I want to redo it. So you can reallocate it. You can delete it. You can maybe erase it if you want. Maybe you want to redo that part. So let's re erase that, erase that. And you can try to redo it again just to get it right. For... I see there we go now it's a little bit better so you can use that correct and that option over there to do it and then we want a 2a at the bottom now you saw there it made it a z but if what happens if we wanted it to be a z then you can again you can select it and then it'll give you options do you want the 2 do you want a letter z or small letter so you've got these little options so we want to keep it as a 2 please so there we go so those are your options available and then when you go insert It'll insert that formula, and again, you still have options to edit it further. And you can select this, this text. You, you can obviously change the size. You can make it nice and big. You can bold it if you want, or underline. Or if you only want particular parts to be bold, you can select, I just want that part to be bold. And you can bold just those particular parts as well, or change the color. You can also copy this text. You can right-click, and you can copy it. And you, when you paste it, if you want to paste it somewhere, you can actually paste it as an image if you want. So now it's an image so that you can crop it and you can do things with it and add it to different, uh, maybe on a website or something like that. So you can do lovely things like that. So that's how you can do your formula. So let's recap. You go insert. You go to the insert an equation. You can select one of the predefined ones. 
or you can just go ink it or insert a brand new one and edit it and when you click on it you've got all these lovely little options over here to make your equations so go and make some equations for other useful teacher tips go to our youtube channel click on that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment so that we can find out what videos you want us to make and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way